People gathered at the CNRP headquarters on Sunday morning, awaiting news on opposition leader Kim Sokha. During a midnight raid on September 3rd, Kim Sokha was arrested and taken into police custody after accusations of treason and conspiring with a foreign power. According to a Ministry of Interior official, Sokha has been sent to Chuping Falong Prison in Tabongkamun Province. In response to the political arrests, Prime Minister Hun Sen justified Sokha's detention, saying it was necessary to counter a national conspiracy. The government released a statement on Sunday afternoon saying that Sokha's alliance with the US was an act of treason and a betrayal of Cambodia. Under Article 443, Sokha faces 15 to 30 years in prison. Sokha's arrest was in response to a re-emerging video clip from December 2013 published by the Cambodian Broadcasting Network in Australia. In the clip circulating social media, Soka talks about receiving assistance from the US since 1993 to affect a regime change in Cambodia. <laughs> The same morning, Hun Sen met with garment workers on Diamond Island, where he announced he would find out which foreigners were involved in a conspiracy, warning foreigners not to get involved in internal politics in Cambodia. The CNRP were warned that if they try to protect Soka, the party will be eliminated. After the apprehension of Soka, CNRP members gathered at the headquarters for an emergency meeting. Later in the afternoon, the CNRP issued a statement saying that a sudden arrest of Soka was unacceptable and requested his immediate release. The opposition party are now calling upon the international community to intervene. The US Department of State released a press statement noting their concern over the arrest of Soka on charges which appear to be politically motivated, undercutting Cambodia's progress in recent decades. <laughs> Thank you.